Right now we're up in Chimney Rock. And when I say that this is one of the most devastating things I've ever seen, I, I can't put it into words. We came here all my life. This has been a, a place that we came and vacation and took day trips. And these people up here have not even been checked on. There's hardly any resources. The guys on horseback found people today that it's the first people that they've seen on day 22, I think. It, it's just baffling to me. Like the, the only thing you can say is it's apocalyptic. You can't really put it into words unless you're here. I'm standing right now in a spot that we've came all my life and I don't even know where I'm standing. The smell around here is just, it's death. It's like the ground is burping up death. There's there's 20, 30 feet of mud and muck. And you're just walking over God knows what. And I don't know. It, it's just, it's a shock. And I think if you come up here, you can't help but to be shook. We had a call today at Silverado's that somebody was needing some resources. And he was kind of in a panic and he wanted food and he wanted all this stuff and we gave him all the food that they needed and then they came back talking about how much more resources they needed so you know we have to be careful right now of where all of our generators and all of that stuff's going so we just sent somebody up here to check out the location and we're wanting to help start hubs and all that but we just we had to make sure so we came up here and just blown away this terrain is so treacherous like you, the road just drops off and you're you're right in the river there's power lines down everywhere we did talk to one of the locals and like i said i don't want to put cameras in these people's faces i they they're they're shook and they've lost everything but one of the guys that we did talk to said that the only person that had came and check on him was a youtuber and I think a lot of the the locals the, the locals around here they're Appalachia people they're they're protective of their land they're protective of their property and I understand the part that they don't want a whole lot of people around their stuff and I, I understand that I'm I'm the same way but the fact that a YouTuber has checked on them and only a YouTuber on a place with this much devastation and destruction to me that's pretty horrifying i don't know what's going on here at all but it is <laughs> you get a chill down your spine